good morning friends welcome back to my channel cool readers i hope you all are doing good so today's session is based on our communication skills if you are professional and you are stuck in your career or you are feeling that your communication is just barrier for your growth then please stay on this video and you will have all the information regarding your communication effectiveness so let's move forward so in today's agenda we will talk about what is the communication skills why com why is effective communication an important skill to develop what are common traits of communica effective communicators how to become an effective communicator so let's move forward and see one by one in details first we'll talk about what is effective communication effective communication is the process of exchanging information and ideas with others around you in the best manner possible it requires you to adapt to the situation and audience and remain flexible in your communication style and approach communication effective communication also requires you to modify your vocabulary or uh, terminology to suit your suit the audience next why is effective communication an important skill to develop effective communication is an essential trait to creating and building last lasting professional relationship with colleagues and supervisors based on openness and trust this is especially important when working with a team environment as effective communication uh, promotes strength and productivity for groups working together as an effective communicator uh, you eliminate unnecessary problems before they raise arise by providing clear and concise information to others around you effective communication also contribute to better uh, performance higher productivity and increase employee engagement in the workplace when communication is clear and open it helps maintain a, a harmonious workplace increase innovation and creativity and promotes collaboration with corporations between uh, departments effective communication is also a critical component to managing a diverse work environment and helps improve uh, crisis and exchange management what are common traits of effective communicator an effective communicator ensures their message is clear and concise and they tailor their approach to the audience they also are uh, responsive to those around them by actively listening to others ideas concepts and challenges finally an effective communicator ask question to confirm understanding and to clarify their message there are several common traits in uh, effective communicator that uh, includes making complex concepts simple focusing on the interaction balancing the action of speaking and listening awareness of non verbal cause and body language knowing when to speak up asking the best questions we'll see in details all those common trends making complex concepts simple all the effective communicators can break down complex uh, concepts into simple easy to understand ideas they adjust their vocabulary approach and style to person or group they are communicating with an effective communicator watches for a sign of confusion or misinterpretation of the information they are represent uh, presenting and clarifies before misunderstandings happen second 
focus on interaction all the effective communicators stay focused on their interaction they eliminate outside the distractions to focus on the people their communication they silence their cell phone or turn or them off to them their complete attention to the discussion an effective communicator also completes their communication before moving on or ensure they follow up quickly third balancing the action of speaking and listening all the active all active communicators understand that the best communication is two way and not one sided they balance the actions of speaking and listening so that communication is equal in uh, between the two parties this enhances the feeling or uh, rapport uh, and trust they understand that listening is an equally important action uh, of function for effective communication now next awareness of non verbal cues and body language effective communicators are exceptional at recognizing type of non verbal communication they are aware about their audience body language including posture stance hand movements facial expressions and eye contact an effective communicator identifies non verbal cues and adjust their masses to clarify the information engage the other person or summarize their point effective communicator are also aware about of their body language and non verbal cues to, to ensure their message is clear and well received asking the best question all the effective communicator know how uh, know the art of asking the best question they are masters of asking discovery investigative and prob probing questions to uh, gather more detailed information and receive deeper insight an effective communicator ask questions whether they are the sender or receiver of information they are skilled at knowing when to interject with a well planned question and what the question to have maximum impact knowing when to speak all the active communicator know communicators uh, know when to speak up and say something whether it is a disciplinary issue or workplace inclusion an effective communicator uses the opportunity to understand up for others or address the uncomfortable problems at the moment for example a manager sees an employee acting inappropriately a manager who is an effective communicator knows it's it's better to address the issue right away instead of ignoring it or and hope, hoping it resolve itself now how to become an effective communicator as with any skill you can practice becoming an effective communicator remembering that communication requires sending and receiving a message focus on both aspect when practicing your skill here are the spec, uh, steps you can follow to become an effective communicator first identify the purpose of communication before you being communicating clarifying the purpose of your communication for example ask yourself if you are the sender or receiver you will also want to establish the desired outcome of the communication for example you are the uh, sender and the desired result is 
to express your gratitude for a job well done by by a colleague when you identify the purpose of your communication you can organize your thoughts uh, accept, uh, expectations and anticipate specific uh, responses or questions that you may come up understand your audience once you have identified the purpose of your communication you need to understand who your audience is that will receive the message by understanding your audience you can tailor your style and uh, presentation you have to most impact for example if you are making a marketing director uh, presenting your pitch uh, to a to a potential client your style may be formal uh, polished and high energy or if you are a supervisor completing an employee performance review you may be more casual or relaxed to create a comfortable environment for your uh, team member or staff now create a plan for your communication the next step to becoming an effective communi communicator is to create a plan for your interaction for example make a list of critical point you need to cover or a list of questions you would like to ask plan your interaction allow you to be well prepared and organized this also allows you to take responsibility for the com uh, communication and direct the change more effectively provide a clear message while delivering information as a speaker you can provide a clear message to the receiver tailor your uh, news to to audience or, and avoid confusion jargon technical terminology or advanced vocabulary unless ap ap appropriate for the individual or group you are addressing clarify also include organization in your the masses uh, so provide a uh, simple step by step information when possible be aware of, uh, of your body language and facial expression in ensuring that your non verbal cues match your masses ask question to clarify understanding add as the person delivering the message it is your responsibility to confirm that receiver understand the information asking question to clarify the ear comprehension is most effective way to do this for example if ask if your message was clear or if you if you need to elaborate or further explanation explain any part of the discussion this provides you value insight into the effectiveness of your communication so you can continue to improve your skills pay attention to uh, to the to the interaction whether you are the sender or receiver of the information you need to pay attention to the interaction this means giving your complete attention to the other person or group uh, and minimizing distractions practicing proper uh, cell phone uh, etiquettes uh, for example is one a way to show your focus on the conversation in uh, addition you might find it helpful to talk in a in a private space or area with minimal traffic so that you eliminate interruptions when you focus on someone you create an environment for open honest and respectful communication practice active listening during 
इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन बोथ पार्टीज टेक पार्ट इन एक्टिव लिसनिंग एक्टिव लिसनिंग इज गिविंग योर फुल अटेंशन टू द स्पीकर आस्किंग की क्वेश्चन एंड यूजिंग नॉन वर्बल क्यूज टू एनक्रेज द स्पीकर टू कंटिन्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेकिंग आई कॉन्टैक्ट विद द स्पीकर लेट्स देम नो योर focus is on conversation and addition asking clarify question to confirm your understanding and adopting an open body posture encourages the speaker to continue for example you may not uh, your head to show you are listening or you may you may use small phrases such as go on or understand stay open minded any effective communicator stay open minded throughout a discussion and comes to the conversation without judgments or biases when 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 you remain open minded your thoughts are clear without being uh, clouded by uh, perception or expectations about the other person or group you can stay objective and empathetic uh, empathetic within the communication trying to or yourself in the others person situations practicing empathy increases open and honest communication that is respectful and kind stay open minded also required having a level of self awareness of your emotions and remaining calm and composed during uh, volatile uh, volatile uh, discussion topics thank you so much team and i hope we have discussed a lot about communication different parts and it will directly help you to become a good and effective communicator if you have any questions you can message me thank you so much have a nice day